Next, we're going to be adding a new screen called Victory. In the Victory screen, you are going to be placing the components that the user will see after they click on the Got It button and correctly guess your number. First thing we're going to do is put up a little label that says something like, Don't feel bad, I always win. After that, we're going to remind the user of how many guesses it took to get their guess correct. So I'm going to use a vertical, oh, sorry, a horizontal arrangement. I said vertical, and I actually want horizontal. And I'm going to place two labels inside that horizontal arrangement. But first, I'm going to make sure that it's aligned to centered. And I'm going to make sure that the width fills the parent. Also, just to add a little bit of... Um, uh, color. I'm going to make it um, yellow have, for a background, and I'm going to drag in two labels. One label will be the text that says um, something like the number of guesses, and then I'm going to drag in another label that is going to have the actual number of guesses, but watch how I drag in that label. I don't go above it. I don't go below it. I get it right next to it. And now I can replace that text with a zero. But I also want to name that label a clear name so that I can find it later in code. And I'm going to name it Guesses, because that's where I'm going to display the guesses that um, the computer has made. The next item I'm going to insert is a canvas. And I get that from drawing an animation. I drag in that canvas. And I'm going to set the height to be a percent this time. I'm going to have it fill 50% of the screen. That, and then I'm also going to have it fill the parent for the width. So I want it to be all the way across, but fill 50% of the screen. If I wanted to add an image, that would be very easy to do um, in, in uh, App Inventor. After the um, uh, canvas, I'm going to add yet another horizontal, um, horizontal layout. And this time, I'm going to make sure it fills the parent as well, but it's going to be filled with buttons. So um, I'm going to make sure that it's the buttons are centered. I'm going to drag two buttons in. First button is going to be for play again. The second button is going to be for quit. So I'm going to call this first button reset. And I'm going to call this second button quit. And then the quit button. And the quit button. I'm going to put the text quit in the reset button. I'm going to put the question play again. And you see the two buttons are there and ready to be used. Finally, it's really important that you add a non-visible component that brings in the data that you'll need for guesses. That component is under storage and it's uh, sorry, storage and it is called a tiny database. Drag that onto the screen and it will appear as a non-visible component. You have now made your victory screen.